Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Official Spark OS version 13.5 is rolling out for many devices and today in this video I am excited to share my experience with the newly rolled out Spark OS 13.5 with the February 2023 security update. This update has been eagerly awaited by many users and I am thrilled to report that it's now available for all MIRTL devices including my Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. So in this video, I'll be giving you a comprehensive review of Spark OS 13.5 highlighting its new change logs, features and exploring massive customizations. I'll also compare this ROM with its previous version and I'll also be running some benchmarks including Antutu, Geekbench 5 and 6 and CPU throttling tests to give you an idea of the ROM's performance. So without further ado, let's start. As you can see, this is Spark OS 13.5 running on Android 13 and you can see the Android security update of February 5, 2023 and same lineage OS with same kernel version is used in this room. Talking about the change logs, you can see the change logs of this version on this screen. It has fixed low microphone in some apps, improved status bar padding, added notch bar killer, miscellaneous fixes and improvements. Talking about the user experience of this Spark OS, this room gives smooth user experience. As you can see, I am not facing any lags or slowdowns while scrolling and swiping on the screen, but you may feel very few, I mean minor slowdown in animation on quick setting panel. This slowdown is somehow negligible and if you look at the app opening and closing speed as well as its animation, it's really impressive. Now moving towards camera, this ROM does not come with MIUI or Google camera but with this Graphene OS camera. And this camera has photo, scan and video mode available in it and you can also take 4K video from this camera at 30 fps. And in its previous version also, it has same Graphene OS camera. So now let's explore the benchmark scores of this ROM and I'll start with Antutu benchmark and as you can see the Antutu benchmark score of this ROM on my phone is 354733 and if we compare this score with its previous version then it's little low in its previous build the Antutu benchmark score was 365705. Moving towards next benchmark score, I'll show the result of Geekbench 5 and the score for single code is 570 and for multi core the score is 1533 and in its previous build the single core score was 567 whereas multi core score was 1596. Now let's see what's the score of new Geekbench 6 and as you can see the single core score is 731 and multi core score is 1690 and I don't have the data for the previous build of Spark OS as Geekbench 6 was not yet available at that time. CPU throttling. Now let's jump into CPU throttling test result. I had run the CPU throttling for 10 minutes and CPU has throttled to 91% of its maximum performance. And in previous build, I had run the same test for 5 minutes but 2 times back to back and both time no any CPU throttling was detected. So after analyzing all the benchmark and CPU throttling results, it is found that the previous build has better results compared to this one. Google Photos Storage. So if you are wondering about Google Photos Unlimited Storage feature then I am happy to announce you that Unlimited Google Photos Storage feature is still available in this room. Safety Net Status. Talking about safety net status, this room has passed the safety net compatibility test without any problem and if you look at Play Protect certification on Google Play Store, device is certified there. Launcher. Moving towards launcher, this Spark OS comes with its Spark Launcher and from its recent app section you will get options like App Info, Kill App, Split Top and Uninstall but still free form option is not included in this room. Home setting. Inside its launcher home setting, there are some new features added. If you enter into its recent setting, you will find a new quick action option which is lock recent apps. But this feature does not seem to work on my device and in miscellaneous hidden and protected apps and these suggestions are added which were not present here. 
and if you want to enable google moss search then you can now enable it from its home screen setting which was not present in its previous field and this will use google music search instead of google assistant mic wallpapers and styles moving towards wallpaper and styles there is no any changes made you will get lots of spark wallpapers in this room and other features like wallpaper colors basic colors dark themes themed icons and app grids are present and this upgrade has up to 16 to 10 sized grid widgets in its previous build android 13 clock widgets were not present but now in this version of spark OS, you will get latest android 13 clock widgets Quick setting. This is how quick setting panel looks like and it has some new tiles added like extra dim, sound search, screenshot, system boost, scan QR code, aggressive idle manager etc. But this screenshot like will not work if you long press on it to take partial screenshots but if you just tap on it it will take screenshot. And this scan QR code tile which was not working on its previous build is now working properly. Overall in this QS panel they have fixed one bug and created a new one. Settings. So now let's see what's new inside its settings section and explore them one by one. Private DNS. At first there is private DNS option which does not come with custom DNS provider as like in its previous build display from display you can set screen timeout up to 30 minutes and screen attention feature is also available in it and if you enter into dark theme you will only get schedule option no custom dark theme are present here but you will get custom theme options inside its fireworks apps in this app setting you will get game space as well as parallel space feature which were also present in its previous version but in this build this assistant screen timeout and this app battery uses options are newly added that were not present here battery and from its battery settings you can view battery uses graph and get other features like battery saver adaptive battery smart cutoff which is basically smart charging option and current temperature and i don't know why but they have removed view uses for past 24 hours option from this battery setting and not only this they have also removed idle manager option but given this smart cutoff feature instead of them and from battery saver you can enable extreme battery saver option to extend battery life further security from its security setting you can enable both fingerprint as well as face unlock feature and if you look at the encryption status roam is encrypted also if you want to lock your app then you can do it from here and to use it we need to set a screen lock at first system in system you will find gesture setting from where you can enable this quick tap to start action option and which works properly and this option was not present in its previous build. Also swipe to take screenshot option is present in this room which also have lens search feature integrated which is a good thing. And in system setting you won't get updater as well as Xiaomi parts option in this Spark OS display cutout and if you like to use different cutouts on your phone then you can use this feature from developer options and you will get 11 different cutouts so i have covered all of its features except fireworks which is the main highlighting thing of this room because inside fireworks there are huge number of customizations available and the first thing they have fixed in this section is that whenever you go one step backward from any of its setting it was redirecting to the main menu not in fireworks but they have listened and fixed this issue themes Inside its theme option you will get monet engine from where you can change between 6 different custom themes and if you scroll down you will find QS panel style options from where you can choose between 10 different new QS panel styles. Also if you want to see detailed data uses then just enable this show data uses option from quick setting styling section then it will show detailed data uses on expanded QS panel. 
lock screen inside its lock screen also you will get lots of features at first this lock screen left and right shortcuts are newly added in this version and from here you can choose which app to show on lock screen shortcut section and also this single shortcut option is something new that is added inside lock screen and if you want to change the color of lock screen you can do it from here and can select any desired custom color for lock screen clock status bar inside status bar you will find different options like battery bar network traffic indicators logo and many more but the new thing that is added in this version is this notification icon option you can now control the maximum number of icons visible on status bar you can select the range from 0 to 10 and at last on status bar you will find status bar padding option which will basically change the size of status bar using top left and right padding according to your choice gesture in gestures you won't get such new changes but will find same old features like toggle torch by double tapping or long pressing power button volume rocker wake brightness control and many more power menu Inside power menu, you can disable or enable power menu on lock screen option, change power menu animation to 11 different animations and manage power menu items like enabling advanced reboot option. Miscellaneous and inside this miscellaneous, you will find notification light and battery light option. Also, this Android P animation style option is added in this version of Spark OS as well as you can now change QS panel transitions from here and there are altogether 15 different transitions present which makes your QS panel really unique but remember applying these animations may slow down your user experience and other basic features like weather settings spark system manager force expand notifications unlimited photo storage unlock higher fps in games smart pixels ad block ignore windows secure flags and many other features and customizations are present in this spark os so this is all about the latest spark os 13.5 based on february 2023 security update overall this rom is good to use as daily driver although the performance scores are little less than the previous version 13.4 it gives smooth user experience and performance and if you talk about customizations plenty of new and unique customizations are added which makes this rom in the list of most customizable room. What do you think about this room? Share your thoughts and experience related to this Spark OS on comment section below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, share this video and subscribe to Cracksoid. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.